Hi, my name is Erica Jones. I am applying for the American Riding Instructors Association Level 2 Saddle Seat Testing. This is my video with my rider, Rebecca, and our American Saddle Bread Slider. The registered name is Fast Friends. Rebecca has been riding with me for approximately four years, and this is her first year out of Academy where she is showing in Country Pleasure with Slider. Slider is a rescue American Saddle Bread. We've had him about three years now. He, we don't really know his history as much in that he was a park horse up until 2008 and then I checked the registry records and there's kind of a gap until we found him through a rescue program. So I've been working with him, I've showed him several years and he's been really working hard in lessons to be a good horse. He's a bit timid sometimes, he has trouble flat walking. So that'll be the focus of this lesson is giving him confidence to move forward into his extended trot and also to find that flat walk. So Rebecca, why don't we walk on the rail going first direction. And as you're walking, just make sure you're using a little bit more of that inside leg. He's curious about what's going on outside, might be a little nervous. So make sure you take some deep breaths. That's going to help him relax. If you stay relaxed, he stays relaxed. This is massage the bit through his mouth. Whoa, walk with a nice, easy voice. Might need to lower your hands. Try and find that flat walk. Whoa, walk there. It's better, you're getting closer. Keep massaging that bit, talking to him gently. Almost there, that's a girl, good job. Whatever you're doing, keep doing that, because it's working. When you find something that's working well for you, use it to your advantage. Good. I like that nice, easy voice you're using. That's okay. Just keep asking him. Good, and then you got it right back. Good girl. Okay, we're gonna walk around the shavings. Just keep asking him for that flat walk. We know he has trouble because he is a nervous guy. Just keep asking. Oh, walk. When we get past the blue barrels, let's ask him to canter. Remember, we're going to use that outside hand, outside leg, half halt to get his attention. I'm going to warm him up at that canter. Little half halt, leg and hand, canter. Now right there, good, good. Way to push him through. He got distracted by the stairs over there that's on the other side of the arena. Good. As you get him cantering, remember, we're going to use our collection and lift him up as he comes up in that stride. Squeeze with the snaffle, we squeeze with the snaffle. The curb is there to set his head, it's not there for pressure. Very nice. A little more snaffle, let's let out our curb a bit. His head still looks nice, so we don't need to be playing with the curb too much. Remember, the curb is almost double the pressure of the snaffle. I would prefer you have more snaffle than curb. Good, this is a warm up. We're not asking him for a 100% show horse right now, we're asking him to get his muscles warmed up. Beautiful. Remember to use your inside leg as you go around the corner. Steady with your upper body. I love that you're sitting deep in that saddle, but I'd like if you didn't bounce quite as much. See if you can find that seat and follow your saddle. Sink that rear end down. Good. Good. Keep playing with your snaffle. We don't want it to bounce. Want steady contact with his mouth so he knows what to do. Little more outside leg, support him around the corner, and you kind of cheated that corner a little bit. See if you can get him over to that rail a little bit deeper, help him round his corners. The more bend, the better. It is a very hot day here, so he might be feeling a little tired, so you might need to give him extra energy through your seat. Pushing with your outside leg, a kiss, a little tap with your whip, I would rather you push with your seat than your whip, but that's why you carry your whip, just in case you need it. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Wonderful. Leg, use your inside leg, push him to the rail, push him to the rail, oh no, stop. Let's recollect and ask him to canter. Steady hands, right hand, right leg. Good, that was a little sloppy, so let's do a little bit better half halt next time. And really ask with our outside leg to engage those back hocks. Good. At the end of the straightaway, let's ask him to walk. Brakes, butt bridle. Whoa, walk. 
Now, whatever you did to achieve your flat walk before, ask him again. You found a strategy that worked. Whoa. Really, really think about those yoga breaths where you breathe the flowers through your nose and you blow out your birthday candle. That's going to help him relax. If you are relaxed, he will be relaxed. Whoa, walk. Good. He was thinking about it. He's, he's trying to get excited. But I love how you're using a calm seat. Let's halt. We're going to switch it up on him. We're going to reverse and go the other direction. Our big focus today is the extended trot. So I want to warm up both ways at the canter. Remember to use your leg to make him turn. Now let's halt and have him stop because that wasn't really a very pretty stop. Good. Talk to him. Make him be patient. Okay, Rebecca, let's go ahead and let him walk now that he's had the chance to kind of be patient. Good. Remember, he's going to see this other side. He's seen the door with the right eye, and now he's going to see it with the left eye. So we're going to walk him by. Use that outside rein to encourage him to go deep in the corner. Nice job. Horses have funny vision. They don't really see things the way we see things. Good. Encourage that flat walk. Big breath so that you can relax, so that he can feel your relaxation. Soften your hand. Just play with that bit. Massage. Oh, nice job. You found it. Good girl. Now, you know he has trouble with this lead. It's a little sticky, so we're going to have to over cue. Now, I don't mean put your leg too deep on him, but you're going to have to tip him to the rail a little bit more than a normal lesson horse or normal, as we've practiced because he has a little bit more favoritism on his left leg than his right. So we're going to let him walk past this door, let him get the bright lights out of his eyes so he can focus. But I want you to start thinking ahead. You plan ahead. I'm going to start getting my horse tipped to the rail. I'm going to get ready to cue. I'm going to over tip him to the wall. Ready? Whenever you're ready, put that leg on him. Over tip. Keep your hands up. Collect him. And if you want to wait till this corner, that's okay too. Use that turn to your advantage. Oversteer. You got it. Get your hands up now. Now part of why we didn't get that is our hands were way down in his withers. That's okay. Let's tip to the rail once we get past the white box on the wall. Whoa. There you go. We got a corner coming up we can use to our advantage again. Unless you want to wait to get past the wall. Or the, I'm sorry, the big door. Now let's keep him tipped. Keep him looking at that wall a little bit more. Just to make it obvious to him. Okay? Hands up now. He's got to raise his head to canter. Ready? Canter. More outside leg. More outside leg. Now you did get a canter. But is it the correct one? Okay, so what should we do? Sit back. Brakes butt bridle. Okay, now recollect and ask him again. Raise your hands up. Tip more. You almost got it. Put your more leg on him. He wants to flip. There you go. Good. Now, we obviously don't encourage that in the shows, and we'll keep working on that in all our lessons. So let's use a little bit more outside rein to encourage him to bend his head so that it's straight. We don't want him tipped to the wall too much. He was gated at one point, so sometimes you do need to use your outside rein a little more. Now encourage him. Use your outside leg to push him on. A little more curve. I know we were talking about less curve earlier, but now you need a little bit more. Especially on your right rein. There you go. Push him forward with your seat. Lift him as he canters. Help him collect his canter. We want him rocked back on his hips to find that nice rocking horse canter. We're going to squeeze as his mane comes up and push with our legs. So we're going to catch and recycle. Catch, recycle, catch, recycle, catch, recycle, catch, recycle, catch, catch. Nice. Keep asking him. Collection something that does not come in one lesson. It's something you have to keep working on every ride. See if we can keep his nose a little bit more over his outside shoulder. Don't want him looking in towards us because then he might slow gate. Good. Let's walk at the end. Break spot bridle. And let's release our curb a little bit. As we walk, we don't need it as much. Now will be a nice, relaxing kind of rest for his mouth is a good word. 
Now you're being in country pleasure. I know we've worked on this a little, but we're going to continue working on it because the extended trot, while it won't win you a class, it can take the class from you. A lot of times it shows, I see people who just take a whip and start smacking their horse and they think that's an extended trot. An extended trot, does that have the word, any kind of speed in it at all? If I say extend, does that mean to go faster? Right, so like, um, I'm trying to think of a thing in the real world. A spring, if you extend a spring, it's not going to go faster. It's just going to be stretched. In the same sense, we want our horse to stretch his legs. You've probably seen the dressage horses in the Olympics. I know we kind of, I would share Olympics videos with you where they actually are going to be collected and pushed together with the rider's seat and the bridle where they're going to stretch their legs. Our horses are not going to look as gorgeous as the Olympic horses doing that, but we can try to achieve that. We're not looking for speed. We're looking for extension. So to achieve that, we need to take back on our bridle with small half halts and we need to push forward with our seat and our legs. What that should do as you practice, again, this isn't something that Slider is like a computer program and he knows how to do, but it's something we're working on with him and that we're going to keep asking him to collect his head and bring his head back to us, but at the same time we're going to ask him to use his legs more. I was reading Centered Riding which is a book I was telling you about, and it was telling me that a extended trot is not speed, it's the same tempo of the legs, it's just a farther stretch, a farther reach. So let's go ahead and pick up a trot on the correct diagonal. Good. I want you to find a nice pace. Still staying on the rail, still bending him around the turns. And we still need a headset too. All the things. I'm sure there's some hashtag you kids come up with. I'm not tech savvy. Good. Little tickles on that snaffle, bumping him up to you. Little tickles. Because if we take a hold, that might make him stop. We want to communicate, not just be fierce with our hands. Good. How do you feel about your speed right now? I feel like you could speed up a little bit more energy. It's kind of a nice, easy trot, and I know it is kind of hot today, but we still want to let him work. Good. Now, Rebecca, I want you to take your legs and squeeze into them, but at the same time, I want you to give him little tugs, little half halts on the bridle. I don't want to be hard, but just little, little tiny squeezes and releases with your hands. At the same time, take your heels and squeeze into him. Use your legs. Push with your legs. You should be posting the same speed, but you should feel like maybe he's asking you if he can go faster through the bridle. So let's use more leg. I see a little more speed. I want to see a little more squeeze with your heel. And if you need to point your toe out a tiny bit so that your heel can make contact with him, that's okay. Now use your voice. How does that feel compared to when you started? more energy. And I do know it's a little faster. Remember, we're not looking for fast. We're looking for him to have that energy. Now, where is the energy? Can you feel if it's in his hind legs or his front legs? Hind legs. And that's what we want. That's where the drive and the power is. So still give him half halts. I want you to squeeze him again. Squeeze. Squeeze. No, no speed. Find that tempo. Keep your tempo. And if you're musically inclined, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like when I was teaching kids how to post. Up, down, up, down. Find that same rhythm. Push, push. Squeeze. Your legs are so important. Now look at that. You're not even using your whip. You're not using it in your voice. You're not yelling at him. It looks nice and relaxed. Now let's ease up. Give him a couple bigger half halts and slow him down to your normal trot. So you don't have to use as much leg. And I saw him slow down. Keep your tempo. Find a rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two. Try and get in your corners, too. Now, as you come out of the corner, use that inside leg, outside leg, squeeze him. Little half halts to keep his attention, keep him pushed back in that bridle. 
Keeping him back to you a little more. I see a little more push off his hind legs, but I want to see a more. Give me more energy. You keep cheating that corner. I'm going to make you come in the middle and do push-ups since that's the policy. Squeeze with both legs. Like it's the last drop of toothpaste you're trying to get out with your legs. Squeeze. Squeeze. See a little more of the tox, a little more. If you need to use more leg around the corner, squeeze harder or kiss. Nice. That was better. I see more engagement off his hocks. Again, this is something he's not a pro at, so something we're working on. Let's let him come back to his normal trot, his show trot. Good. A little tap. We need some more energy. We don't want your normal trot to be just kind of lackadaisical, I'm bored. Good. Brakes foot bridle at the end. Let's walk. Sit real deep, tickle with that bit, nice. Let that curve out a tiny bit. Did you feel, I feel like your first one was better than your second one, but did you really feel the engagement and the push off of your hocks when you really got it, that one, a couple of those straightaways? That's what we're shooting for. Eventually you'll get him where he's reaching with his legs. He's not gonna look like a dressage horse, but we want to look like it's effortless. We don't want to go in the arena and be clucking and hooting and hollering and beating the snot out of him with our whip when we could be using our legs in our seat to drive him forward. Let's reverse and walk. You can get past the fan if you'd like, or if you want to do it in front of the fan and get a nice cool breeze on you. Go ahead and halt. Switch that whip. Good girl. Eyes over your shoulder. Good. And knowing him, he might have forgotten that the door is here, so just be nice and gentle with him. Encourage him to walk forward. Go ahead and talk to him. Walk, walk. You're doing a very nice job keeping that flat walk. Good job. Good girl. Let's halt. Count to five. Oh, I'm gonna make sure he's standing still. We need to have him work on patience for this show. Maybe lower your hands a little bit. Oh, buddy. That's okay. Halt. One, two, three, four, five. Let's walk back to the rail. So that's probably something we ought to work on too, is making sure he's patient enough to stand on the rail, because they will ask for that halt in Country Pleasure. Let's take up more of your snaffle and ask him for a small trot this direction. We're kind of almost out of time, but we're going to make sure we get both ways. Good. Little more curve, because it's really floppy in his mouth, and we don't want that bit flopping. And now it's going to start to rain on us, of course. Just one of those days. That's okay. Good. So this actually might be a good thing because you're going to have to use your leg to push him past that door because now there's rain. Drive him on there. Little tap with your whip so he's brave. Push him on. Say, trot, trot, trot. Use your words. That a girl. Outside hand to guide him to the wall. It's all right. Find that diagonal again. Now let's get him focused on you with that extended trot. As you come out of the corner, get those shoulders back. Raise those hands up. Squeeze with those legs. Push him on. Squeeze. Get that last, tube of, or last drop of toothpaste out of that horse. Good. Squeeze. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little bump, bumps on your snaffle. And squeeze with those legs. And you might even have to use your inside leg a little bit more as you turn. It's a little thump, thump thump at the top of that post that's going to help him go deep in the corner. Now squeeze again. Good. I saw a little engagement right by that door, but it's kind of kind of halfway there. I think our first direction was still better, so I need you to ask him for more. That's a little more push. Give me a lot more, Rebecca. Let's push. There. Now let's ask him to go to his normal trot. So legs off except for to bend. Maybe you'd ask him with your voice to ease up. Good, one more extended trot for me. Extend, really squeeze, ask everything out of him. 
ask him for everything he's got. A little bit more. You can do it. Ask him for everything. More push, Rebecca, more push. I want to see it on this straightaway, even more. Little half halts with your bridle. Big squeeze with your legs. There, do you feel it? That's it. Good job, let's walk. And praise him, good boy. Good boy. He worked hard for you today, good job. Let him walk around and catch his breath. And you can make your curb rein long. Let him stretch his neck out, let him stretch his back out. Good job. All right, so that'll be our lesson for the Country Pleasure Horse, who we've been working on with extended trots. I would continue this lesson because I didn't see as much extension, but it'd be something that we need to work on for the shows because it is the division she's showing in. We would work on more half halts, halting to work on patients, as well as walking, and just relaxing this horse because he does tend to be a very nervous animal. So thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching my lesson.